It may be time to question things just a little bit since we're going to Medved voluntarily, but you know, like Bottom Boy says, Medved Mondays, we're just out of here trying to get some reindeer. I don't know how many times I've mentioned it in streams and probably in videos as well that I wanted to do a reindeer grind. Is that a Mega Lovin', by the way? What's going on, man? So yeah, we have... That one is awfully vocal over there. We have a multi-mount with a really good sized diamond and then two small piebalds. And how many times have I said it? The ultimate goal for the Trophy Lodge is all diamonds, gold scoring rares are better, or basically like rare females that are as high scoring as whatever that particular species can get. And our little piebalds are just silvers, so I want to, eventually, have two gold rare reindeer. And I think that's doable. Rare reindeer aren't, like, incredibly uncommon to see. So, if all goes to plan, we will be smoking reindeer for about two hours here. And hopefully those respawns do something good for us. What's up, winners? First time in a month I caught this. I'm glad you can make it, John. Hope you enjoy the stream. Got a max weight. Shammy says CG. Nice, dude. I can't remember. We got one big one. I don't think it was max weight, though. That's pretty cool. I'm trying to think if I've seen any. In general, like, diamond shammy are rare to see, so I'm sure I haven't seen too many of them posted if I've seen any at all. Reindeer leaving, but no mail. So the reason that we're up here right now, there's the mail, is just to hopefully let them get into their zones a little bit. Because it's pretty early. It's like 5.09, and I just want to make sure they get into, like, all the 5.30 zones down south. That should, at the very least, bring that down. What's up, Rag Ragnar? Good to see you, man. I am retired from Rocket League. You know, it's been over a year now at this point. I'm proud of myself. Uh, Savage Killer, thanks for becoming a channel member. Appreciate you, man. If you're not in the Discord already, make sure you join that. Link up your YouTube, get the member role, take advantage of all the good stuff that comes along with that. And what's up, Giancarlo? Good to see you here on YouTube as well. I do not still play Rocket League. I miss it at times, but I think in general, like, to stay at the level that I was, because I was, they changed the ranking system, but I was pretty high Grand Champ. I just had to play like four hours a day, and I just could not afford to commit that much time to it, so it's kind of good to be away from it. So once you harvest an animal, how long does the respawn take? Uh, honestly, it's really tough to say. Ever since this most recent update, it almost feels like it's immediate in a way. Over on Teoro at the Fallow Deer, I've seen this a couple of times where I swear I've shot every buck at a zone, and then I leave and just look back like I'm moving towards the next zone and turn around, and there's more there kind of running in, so there's no like official information it's really tough to tell like how can you know for certain that an animal is a respawn and not just one that you didn't see before so it makes it tough to actually like have any what's the what's the best way to say this any definite information i guess but yet yeah, the best way i would say to just get respawns and be certain of it is once you've gone through like all the locations that you want to shoot animals in Either switch maps and come back, or exit the game and start it again, and you should be good. Kyla's got all the answers today. My favorite map is Leighton Lakes. It sure is. All the antlers over there. We'll be going back there at some point in the near future. That's always nice to see. Just a nice round .00 on the weight. And since Rocky's doing good, give him a treat. Just for helping. You know, I'm quite impressed. Because the terrain's a little weird there, I was wondering if it might make a really weird animation out of that, but it's having no problem. Messed up a 16... Wait. Hold on. 116? Yes. 116 Springbuck, I think. What is... 116.6 or something is max score, so that would have been a pretty big one, but it happens. How big would you consider a 192... Nope, 191.2 Blacktail to be. Pretty good. Pretty good. All of my reindeer are gold or diamond. Is that a glitch? I mean, I would assume so. Do you like that command, Kyla? I'm proud of it. Right now, I'm looking at a level 3 road deer. That's pretty cool. I just saw one posted in Discord. A couple of male reindeer out here. And that made me kind of want to go for a road deer hunt. We might, at some point in the near future, actually head to Quattro for such a thing. Because we have two diamond reindeer in our lodge now, but... 
I would like to have another one. They're they're pretty cool. It's just the uh, so long there. They're kind of broken. Oh, um, so I have discovered that at some point today we need to get more 22 ammo, and I'm not sure where those 22 rounds hit, but not near enough to him to alert him. What's up, Silver? What do you think about a 218 Diamond Sika? That's pretty big. I don't know what the biggest I've seen is. 219, 220? Somewhere in that area? Do you know Spanish? I know the smallest amount of Spanish. I knew it fairly well when I was still in high school and still taking it, but as soon as like I stopped, you know, say practicing that skill, it just disappeared. Unfortunately. I did, Hunter, I did see your troll mail on a sick jackal. That so a lot of times, small animals like that uh, get posted and like you see that it's level nine and it's a gold and it's usually messed up and it, it makes sense. It's a very small uh, hitbox to go for to hit the, the lungs or the liver there. So that's what I thought happened. And I was like, I really fell for that. And then I looked and it was just a troll and that just, <sighs> it hurts in a different way. Big day, you only buy 22 ammo every three months or so. It really just depends on how many ducks. I did a lot of Harlequin ducks shooting lately and mostly missing at like 300 meters. I got one at 394, I think. <laughs> All off the water, but it was a lot of long range shooting. Are you like the most, the most big dumb reindeer in all of Medved? Excuse me, sir. There you go. Turn, please. Thank you. Anyway, uh, Cody, thanks for the super chat. Video idea, get a diamond without spotting or tracking it. Uh. And guess trophy rating based on antlers. There's some species where I could do that better than others, as far as the trophy rating goes. Without spotting or tracking. So you're kind of talking about like a real life challenge kind of idea. I wish you could just turn off the ability to spot. Because... I mean, I could still use the binoculars. It's just going to be such a reflex to hit the E key. We'll have to see there. Uh, Cosman, thank you as well. Your the Hunter Called Wild content is the best. Well, thank you. I really appreciate that. A non-typical nation. I like your name. Uh, thank you for the super chat. Tips for Diamond Red Deer on Quattro. They drink really all over that map. Um, so I did... Uh. I'm pretty sure, if I remember right, it was kind of like a two-part video. Pretty much showing like how I was setting up. And it was, it was meant to be like a generalized guide for setting up your maps for... Uh, hunt, like, I guess not so much hunting, but grinding any species. But it was Quattro and it was Red Deer, so maybe that could be a little more helpful to you. But yeah, uh, if you're looking for a diamond of really anything, especially on a specific map, that's the way I would do it. Set up tripods, set up tents, and try to shoot all the males till you get what you're after to spawn. Hey, Rebecca. Uh, Dank Vending Machine, thanks for the super chat as well. Love the music, what genre is it? Also, I just got Cabela's Big Game Hunter 2004. Reminds me of my PS2 version. The textures keep glitching. Was that the one I played? It was. I had some texture issues as well, and I think if you're in the Discord, uh, feel free to tag me after the stream and I can try to help you. I have a Word document of like how I was fixing it, because I can't remember. There was some weird settings things you had to mess with to get that to happen. Also, the music, um, I guess the genre is like folk guitar. So, I get it from Epidemic Sound. Epidemic Sound is a, a really good, like, music. I don't think licensing is the right phrase, but that's what I always use. Basically, you can, uh, get your music for, like, YouTube and stuff from there for some smallish amount per month. Anyway, point is, the site got updated at some point. So all the songs that I used used to be called, like, Happy Folk Guitar and very general titles. And there were, like, 18 of them. But now they have actual titles, and I have no idea what they are. Um, Kyla Medved does not come with a gun, but there is a mission, which you can do, to unlock Granken's shotgun. So, it is a version of a shotgun that's, ooh, my, already in the game. That's a big must here. Up to 271. I just... This is a terrible idea. Never mind, we're good. 
I I was afraid that it would run too far and we wouldn't be able to see it because it's a tiny animal and I just didn't want to wait forever on what is probably just a gold, but level 2 diamond must do exist. And we made the shot, so if it's going to be a diamond, we'll find out. First live stream, what did I miss? Not too much. We've shot a couple of reindeer so far. I'd say that must deer that we just hit is the most interesting thing we've shot thus far. Someone asked that I wasn't sure. No worries. Big male smoked. I hope it's a diamond. That would just be hilarious. And actually, it's the darker common. So it would be different than the one that we ended up getting. Heh. I think 217 was the minimum and it's 219. That is just about the way. I had one in multiplayer during the must deer grind that was just awful. And that's why I was in multiplayer because I was hating it. I think 246 was its minimum. And 249 is diamond, so I was very confident that I had the one and it scored 246. It's just what they do. For a throwback Thursday, play with DD33. You know, at some point here, once we're done with Deer Hunter 2005, I am planning on kind of switching up the throwback videos for a bit. I've got a couple of ideas for things I want to do, but I'm probably going to not be doing, you know, 15 year old games for. Who knows, a couple of weeks just depends on how well whatever ideas we have go over. But that could possibly be something we do. Please answer me, it's my birthday. Uh, I missed the first part of that. I'm not sure what I'm answering, but happy birthday, man. Is there a way to get handgun score fast? So I did a video on that a long time ago. And the... What's it called? The new nervous state kind of messed that up. As far as I understand, though, the 22 pistol gives handgun score. So if you go and hunt like rabbits with that or ducks or geese, that'll be a pretty good way to gain handgun score anyway. Where was that reindeer at? Must have been in the reeds a little, so kind of good we went with that way. How do I say that? Is that like... Oh, L -O, I'm not sure. I think it might be pronounced pro, uh, po, uh, feel free to let me know in the chat how to pronounce that, but thank you so much for becoming a channel member. Apologies for my inability to pronounce your name, but if you're not in the Discord already, make sure you join that. Kyla's got the link there in chat. Join that, link up your YouTube to get the member rule, get all the good stuff that comes along with that, but enjoy the green name and emojis in chat. All kinds of stuff going on, we're getting warning calls, <laughs> there's male must here everywhere, which is insane because this is a, a lake that I didn't really ever hunt during the mustier grind because I just could not get any male mustier to spawn. By the way, uh, something that I haven't messed with in probably years has been my skills and perks. I finally changed them a little bit. Basically is due to the very prevalent glitch right now where tents are just disappearing off your map. The way that it works is, if you are like spawned into the main menu at a tent, the tent is basically guaranteed to go away. So to kind of combat that, I'm just carrying tents in my inventory, it still spawns you there. So as long as you go there and place a tent and then fast travel away, you're pretty much good. So the issue is, always carrying tents really limits what you can have in the rest of your inventory. So. I finally made the decision to switch it up and get the pack mule perk, or pack mule skill I guess. And basically, there's, I guess call it a glitch right now where you can get an animal's fur type without the disturb veg anyway. So we no longer have the disturb veg skill, but if we open the map, it just tells us. So until that's fixed, maybe it'll be fixed alongside the tent glitch and we can go back. We'll probably be running with this for the foreseeable future. Uh, Jeremy, thanks for the super chat, by the way. Need help? Alright, what's going on? Silver Ridge Peaks, one area has a thousand female bear. No males in weeks? What should I do, if anything? I would say... Try shooting some of the female bears and see what happens. I don't think black bears are... Like a, um... A species that spawns in pairs or in groups or anything, but... It might be worth a shot. Loadout for Dreadved. So, again, because I'm running with the pack mule and I'm carrying tents, what I'm running with right now is the 303 for pretty much everything reindeer, brown bear, moose, everything like bigger, wild boar as well. 
243 is going to be our Mustier and Lynx gun. And I have the 22. It's really only to potentially use the 22 strat. But of course, there's no ammo in it, so I gotta go and buy that as soon as we can. Did I see a scarecrow, by the way? Tents are a must right now, sadly. Glad you got packing. You'll finally so nice to have. Yeah, that extra three units, it just basically allows you to get another gun in your inventory when you're still carrying the tents. It's quite nice. Uh, well, that name is well off my chat. Zanny's Gaming, am I saying that even close to correctly? Once again, feel free to uh, let me know in chat if I'm saying that right or if I'm not how to pronounce it, but thanks for becoming a channel member. Uh, and once again, if you didn't hear it earlier, if you're not in Discord, make sure you join that. Link up your YouTube to get the member role. Get all the good stuff that comes along with that. And enjoy the green name and emojis in chat. I'm quite pleased that we even hit that. I don't know if a 303 flesh wound kills them, but... We'll find out. And Rebecca, thank you so much for the super chat. So glad you finally went to Medved. Hope you find a stunning monster, my friend. Well, thank you. You know, I thought this earlier, because I spent a little bit of time, maybe an hour before the stream, shooting reindeer for respawns and kind of clearing hunting pressure. This is one map where it doesn't matter what species I'm grinding. I shoot other stuff along the way, and I, I don't know what it is. Like, why don't I enjoy this map more if that's the case? But there might be... Something cool out here waiting because I did that along like the mustier grind and any grind that I do, I just end up shooting other stuff. Not just the subject of the grind. Uh. Tents plus 7 mil plus 243 plus 22 is the perfect loadout right now. I've been running the 4570 when I'm doing grinding for anything that doesn't require like the bigger gun. It works pretty good, I must say. I quite like it. Uh, Snakehead, thank you for the super chat, by the way. Are the Black Bucks scoring their max estimate? I shot a level 5 uh, with a max estimate. It was 133, and it was 133.1. Didn't think about it until the time. Uh, the two diamonds that we shot in the Black Buck guide yesterday, I believe both of them scored in the middle of their estimate, so I don't think it's a bug. I think that just happened to be uh, a little bit of, I guess, good luck in that case pronounced correctly. Good deal. I tried my hardest on that one. What are your thoughts on switching over to a new hunting game? I'm not sure switching over is the way to phrase it. Like, I'm not sure that's something I would do unless Call of the Wild just disappears at some point. I can't see myself really completely switching. But, you know, let's say ultimate hunting turns out to be really good. We'll definitely make content on it and play that maybe on Thursdays. Maybe we ditch Throwback Thursday to do ultimate hunting until we either play through that or for the foreseeable future. You just never really know what's going to happen. But yeah, I mean, I definitely intend to pretty much keep this game, this game, this channel hunting game focused or real life hunting for those videos as well. So yeah, doesn't necessarily matter the specific. Oh, nice, MT. Yes, Scarecrow, for some reason, <laughs> with the 4570, anytime that we're on Twitch and somebody uses the weapon swap, I end up being stupidly accurate at long range with the 4570, but then if I try to do that not on Twitch, I just can't hit anything. The range definitely limits its effectiveness. So finally, we're going to go down here where I kind of wanted to start. But bring the dino hunting back. We are going to do a little bit of uh, primal at some point here, too. Um, but yeah, I wanted to let everything get into their zones down here. And JRB, thank you for the super chat once again. Uh, thanks for being the most responsive person on YouTube. So helpful and love watching. Will chat give a collective big mail to show love? I appreciate you, man. I appreciate it. Just, I enjoy what I do, you know? It's the best way I can... You know, kind of answer that, I think. Must here running around everywhere. I gotta clear out these female brown bear. I think maybe that would give some room for some males to spawn here. Because I can't remember the last time that I had a male brown bear in this area. If the must deer cooperate, which that one is not, I'd like to get them too. That'll work. 
Is that the other male? It is. And a five female brown bear. Been a while since I've seen one that big. Alright. That went surprisingly well. All the big males. I like to see it. Collective big male bottom boys on it. What an absolute mad lad. Been watching you for three years and you still haven't noticed me. Can you please notice me? I mean, I, I think I addressed your comment earlier, right? What is happening? I don't know what that is. Hopefully you guys can't hear it, but it's like causing my floor to rumble just the tiniest amount. <laughs> A little bit odd. Anyway. How rare are Melanistic Brown Bear? Because I shot three in one day. They seem to be unfortunately common for a rare bear. Because you compare it to rare grizzlies, you don't see them nearly as often. Like, I barely hunt Medved, and I have quite a number of Melanistic Brown Bear on the new scoring system. Uh, thank you. Uh, the Ball Python Project. Just a uh, little bit of luck, not gonna lie. We should have every sheep species in this game? When you say every sheep species, do you mean like the main ones that are hunted? Tall sheep, stone sheep, bighorn? What's the four in the... I think it's desert and Rocky Mountain bighorn actually, so there's sort of just three. Anyway, it's not fair how good you shoot the 243 honestly. I'll tell you what, bottom boy. <laughs> Go and hunt red fox and shoot like I think about 430 it'll just happen naturally because you gotta hit those little targets and as much as they do run really slowly it's not fun to track them they're not like say a black bear that runs slowly where you can just spot them if they're in brush that's a foot high you can't spot them through anything so you gotta wait till they get in the open so hitting those shots when you have the opportunity is quite necessary it just kind of happened. I don't think I was very good with the 243 prior to the Red Fox grind, so it's done something good other than Red Fox, because obviously it hasn't produced much of anything there just yet. I found a nice level 7 Melanistic Grizzly and level 6 Albino Grizzly in the same pack. That's ridiculous, man. Did the level 6 make gold? Because I know the 6s are like a... Basically a toss-up. But... Two gold rare grizzlies would be amazing. It's a good thing, Ragnar. It's a good thing. Should do a Rocket League video? I am officially retired from Rocket League. I, I don't think I'm going to try to go back to it... Uh, a year later at this point. Holy... There are a few down here, it would seem. It's odd, like, the, the spot that we just came from, right back here, I would say it used to be one of, if not the best reindeer lakes. But now, at least on my map, there's more just right over here, and it's like a hidden lake. If you look at it from the map zoomed out, you don't see any blue, but you can see the drink zone, and there's like a little bit of a... It almost looks like a crater in a way on the map. It's a good spot. Musty or brown bear, reindeer, I think, yeah, lynx drink here. Wild boar might as well. There's probably three that we'd like to get, but it's going to be tough in this particular spot. Can help you in Rocket League, I'm champ too. I was grand champ at one point, but then I retired. Reindeer suck on my map. It's been a long time since I've had a good reindeer in single player, at least. We shot... Yeah, that we shot a diamond reindeer not that long ago, but that was definitely multiplayer. Okay, so these uh. two... Now, nah, they're all within hearing range, so... I think we can get the two that are side by side. And then we can hopefully hit the other one on the run. That's a male, too, though. Alright, well... We'll just see what we can manage, then. The M1 might be better here, but... Not carrying it. Ooh. Okay, that sort of works. They got out of there quick. And they're also running in zigzags, and I don't appreciate it. Stop it. I know he'll go back the other way. He should follow the rest. Or maybe he's just a loner. It's possible he's not a part of that herd. 
That one's nervous. Maybe he'll slow down? Oof. That's unfortunate. He actually did stop. It would have been an easy shot, but I thought he was going to go out of sight. Uh, Chili, am I saying that right? I hope so. Thank you for the super chat. Best weapon to cover a class 2 and 3. If you want both, the 243 is the way to go. The 243 is... Like... It might as well be a class 3 weapon. It's quite capable on, like, Black Buck and Axis Deer. Shammy tend to run quite far in Feral Goat as well from a 243 hit, but it does the job. The only real issue, and sometimes it's a good thing, is if you're zeroed for 300 meters with the 243, it's actually hitting dead on at 250. So if you happen to be 250 meters away from an animal, it's a good thing. But if you're not and you're trying to shoot 300, you got to aim a little high. How many must deer are around here? It's so odd, and this happens all the time. But when we grind for any species, as soon as we're done with it, it's like they're everywhere. But in the process, it's unbelievably annoying trying to even find them. Go figure. Just got back from my IRL African hunting safari. Got two little beasts and much more. If you haven't won already, you should definitely go well worth it. I'm considering it at some point down the road. You never know, but um, if you're in the Discord and you haven't done so already, you should post pictures. I think that would be pretty cool to see. He was a big male and I freaking smoked him. Wait a minute, is that the... Uh, there was a YouTube video of a kid that shot like a, a spike or something and that's what he kept on saying. Feral goes run a marathon with a 243. Yeah, especially long range, which for some reason is just common with the Feral Goats. End up shooting quite far. Graphic settings, I actually just go with the Ultra Preset. I don't even uh, turn off like, what's it called? Fog something. What is it? Heat Haze and Motion Blur. A lot of those are usually turned off, but I just leave them on. Oh, really, Kyla? I can imagine. Are they excited or they just not know who it is yet? Grinding for a diamond, European hare, and mountain goat? I think... Wait, European hare are the ones on Quattro. That was known as kind of like one of the rarest diamonds for a while. But then I just shot a couple in single player. Like starting my grind and then I end up killing two diamonds. So... I'm not sure how rare they actually are, but hopefully if you can start knocking down a couple of females, you can get a level 3 respawn. May I talk to you on Discord? I'm on Discord as often as I can be. If you're in, like, general chat or call the wild chat or whatever, um, yeah, I mean, feel free. It's a public Discord for a reason. Okay, let's go to the next spot. I'm not really sure, like, because this is basically starting out on a reindeer grind, I'm not sure, like, the best routes to take or how long it takes to get to any one spot. So it's kind of going to be a little bit of trial and error, but should be fun to see, like, over the course of two hours what we can manage. Almost didn't make it, I uh, hope, all as well. Definitely is. I'm glad you could make it to the stream. We're out here just chasing tundra big males. What do you think about the new map to Aoroa National Park? I have enjoyed it quite a bit. Uh, I do feel like it's kind of missing something. Like it could do with another species or... I don't know. Maybe it's the fact that like all the fallow deer are kind of in one area, all the seeker deer are kind of in one area. All the chamois in one area. And then you get, like, red deer and feral goat kind of spread throughout. Maybe there's not enough, like, variety? I'm not sure. But yeah, it just, it just, uh... As much fun as it is to hunt, I think it kind of gets old quickly. Which is unfortunate. Got maybe... There's level 5 female brown bears all over. But I was going to say, we got maybe the level 6 bear... And then the level 4 reindeer out there? I'm almost sure. Unless I have shot it at some point. I thought I had like a... Yeah. 
That little guy over there. He is beyond hearing range, although I think this one is too... You know what? Just in case. That's a good angle. Yeah, that guy's not doing nothing. Let's get this too. He's gonna run away. And that actually worked like a charm. Got him attentive. And I think... Oh, we we're kind of zero for 300, so that could be a bit of a problem. It's kind of say we should have gotten him in a lung, but probably shot over a lung. That'll work. Silver just still my favorite map. Just killed a troll level 5 piebald Rocky Mountain Elk. That would hurt my feelings just a little bit <laughs> if the game trolled me with one of those. Was it close? Because a lot of troll level 5 elk are like 440. Like, not even close. Um, You know the one that hasn't died yet is the first one we shot? I think it was because we were zero for the wrong range. We'll see if there's blood over there because at the worst it should have been vertebrae. Just wanted to ask where do you get your male grizzlies because I'm struggling. Honestly, the... The grizzlies, it just, for some reason, it feels like the ratio is like 80-20 female to male, which is kind of annoying, but yeah, I mean, they can be all over. Just gotta cover all the all the water where they can drink, and it's pretty much just like the east and south of the map. And yes, I know you're trying to convince me to make a fallow guide, Kylo, but I gotta get you out here, because you know more about the fallow deer on Te Aoro than I do. I don't even know where that level 3 was standing, quite honestly. He ain't dead yet, so... Maybe that one's gonna get away. Not really a big deal. What do you think of a new snowy map like Medved with other animals and more variety? I like the... like the snow on Yukon... I quite enjoy hunting it then. And I do like Medved, it's one of the best looking maps, it's just the species on it are not the best. So something like that, you know, other species I think would be good. How can you fast travel? If you open the map and click on any tent or uh, outpost, you can just fast travel to it immediately. You have to have claimed the outposts, which basically just means walking up to the flagpole and hitting claim. It's pretty easy. Fallow are scoring on the low end. They don't all score on the low end, though. Some definitely score in the middle. It was a 463 is the biggest elk I've killed. At least there's some, uh, I guess, redemption in the fact that it was a troll with it being your personal best. It's still kind of nice. It sounds good empty. I think they should bring in Sable, Impala, Crocs, Leopards, and I still don't know how to say that, but I know what they are. Carcals or something. Little uh, mountain lion type creatures. I really, I just want a second map based in Africa. I think it would be a lot of fun. Where was that guy hiding? Excuse you, where are you at? You didn't find nothing. Just blood. It's a little aggressive. So, because I'm slacking and forgetting to buy 22 ammo, I was going to say we have to go and alert that guy, but he's just cooperating for us. Want to take a drink? Thank you and good night. The best way to grind money in the beginner levels? If you have Te Aoroa, um... Fallow deer are a pretty good way to quickly level up and gain money. I would also say if you have the Goose DLC, that's a really good one. Kyla's on to other maps. On to greener pastures. Did I see? Or is it all the same track? Nah, our brown bear is going to be not too far from here too, which would be nice. Got our reindeer, which we did hit in the vertebrae because zeroing uh, distance drugs. Let's get Rocky some attention here. How many super rares do you have? I honestly don't know, and I don't know what to count. Because, like, I don't know, I've got 
like four super rare ducks that I don't really think count. I've got two super rare axis deer, but they don't really count in my mind. It's, I think it depends on what people consider a super rare. Actually, I guess I have three super rare axis deer technically. Staying on red bed. You agree, but thank you for everything. My pleasure, man. I have such a low population, but tons of need zones. I don't get it. Hmm. Just out of curiosity, could it be a thing where you only shoot like male animals of every species, and maybe eventually your males aren't respawning, but you still have a bunch of females? Because if you're saying low population, I, I could see myself saying low population, but describing the amount of males that I see and females just don't count in my brain. I feel as if I see that with red fox. If I don't shoot the female red fox, the males don't respawn either. It's kind of weird. And yes, Alice, we're staying near the entire stream. The nice thing is, because of the fact that we're doing reindeer, we'll be taking quite a number of uh, shots and having quite a lot of harvests. If you kill females, can they come back male or just female? There's no, like, definitive, uh, like, information on that. But everything I saw from doing the Great One grind with 1600 kills would say that males always come back as males and females always come back as females. Tips for elk on Silver Ridge? I'm honestly, <laughs> they've been mostly opportunity kills for me. But they feed, I believe, from like 5 a.m. to about 6 p.m. in game. Like, there's a huge long feed time. So just hunting the fields and even up in the trees, pretty much everywhere. They're all over the map. It's kind of one of those things where there's not like a specific location to recommend because they're just so all over. I would say you could try their drink zones. I think it's 4 to 5 a.m. And then also like 18 to 1900. Or maybe it's 17 to 1800. Either way. Uh, it's just such a brief period of time. And since the update where animals get to their zones quicker, it's better now. So you could give that a shot and just try some lakes. Since we're hunting at Medved, thoughts on the reserve? Honestly, I, I have always liked it. And it used to be my favorite map for a little while. The issue I have with Medved mainly is the species selection. So I quite like the reindeer, I quite like the brown bear. Moose are on other maps, so they don't really interest me that much here. And then, you know, minus the memes of must deer with me, I'm not that big a fan of them or wild boar. It could use just something else a little more interesting, I guess, is the best way I could put it. Sadly, I think we spooked those other ones out of there. I think... Oh, I don't know where that guy was hiding, but... I think we're gonna move this tent, and the tripod's just gonna have to stay because we didn't have the space. But... There is very clearly a reindeer drink zone right here, and we're spawning too close to it. So when we run across, we'll end up seeing it. But if we take this tent with us, I think we're gonna actually place one... I don't know, because there's one that drinks there. Maybe, like, up here? I think that'll work better. We'll see, though. Uh, yes. Weapon pack 2 for the Mosin. How long did that take you to get a diamond in Plains Bison? Well, <laughs> I killed one on release day of Yukon. I happened to have one chilling on my map, so not very long. Okay. So when we run over here to claim the other reindeer, we gotta make sure to look back where we came from. Should they add predators to Tayawaroa? There are no predators in New Zealand, really. Wouldn't really make much sense. Do you have any tips for getting rare fur types such as albinos or piebalds to spawn? The only thing is, man, just shooting as many of whatever species you're trying to get a rare of and hoping that the luck lines up. Like, I know Kyla's been trying to get a piebald fallow deer for forever. She finally got it, what, like 1,700? fallow deer in 
For me, I ended up with a piebald and an albino after about 550. Uh. It's just, it's a matter of luck. That's what it comes down to. Uh, Colby, thank you for the super chat, by the way. How many albino bison have you found on Yukon? If you count females, quite a bunch. But I've never had a male albino bison there. I did get a big one on Silver Ridge Peaks, though. Dingoes to Teawaroa? I don't think they live there. Do they? I've easily killed 800 Plains Bison and not a single five. I see that a lot, and it's... It blows my mind because I don't kill them very often, but just randomly on occasion, it's like they just show up on my map. I wonder... Yeah, they're just sort of spawning in as we back up, but... One decent male in there? No, there's two. The thing that concerns me with these is that there's less golds than I kind of thought there was going to be. And I wonder about getting two gold rare reindeer. It may be tougher than we had hoped, but... Given that we're just kind of starting out, it's going to take some time just to see, you know, how quickly we get uh, respawns in general. I hope we at least got the first mail we shot. I know the shot on the second one wasn't that great. We have our dogs, that's alright. 1,716 diamonds? Worth it, you suppose, huh? It's not what I heard at the time. <laughs> In a video you made a while ago, you killed an albino diamond moose. You left it after you killed it and killed two wild boar after, before you checked this level Y. Okay. This is no longer necessary anymore, so don't worry about trying to do it. At the time that I killed the albino diamond moose, the way that scoring in the game uh, worked was very different. Basically, there were three bonuses instead of harvest checks. So you had a quick kill bonus, a integrity bonus, and a consecutive harvest bonus. Quick kill was having the animal dead within five seconds. You notice I shot it in the spine. That no longer works either the way that it worked back then. Integrity bonus was just using the correct weapon. So I used the seven mil. That was no big deal there either. Consecutive harvest at the time was the biggest diamond killer because it would drop off at random. All that it meant was you didn't leave an animal dead, basically. But let's say earlier in that hunt where I killed the albino diamond moose, maybe I, I made a poor shot on like a reindeer and it went off and died somewhere. It doesn't reset my consecutive harvest back to zero right away. But sometimes if you fast travel, sometimes if you change the time, sometimes just eventually your consecutive harvest would go back to zero. So when you would drop a diamond back then, or a max level animal, the first thing you had to do was go and shoot something else to see what your consecutive harvest bonus was at. Because if it was at zero, you could get that bonus up and then claim the diamond and it would still make diamond. If you claimed it and you ended up at zero, you got a gold. It was quite frustrating and we lost quite a few diamonds, including what would have been my first, a huge moose. But instead, I got a diamond mustard as my first because I messed up the moose with no consec. And on that note, that was a long ramble. I'm going to take a drink because there's all sorts of super jazz coming in. What's up, lady? Just going to say hydrating with no hydration channel points redeems. What do we got there? Snakehead with a super chat? Thank you, man. Looking up information on a wild sheep <laughs> hunt, probably. And there's one called... Altai, I've seen those. Yeah, 450 pound or more. I think they are the biggest sheep, uh, like, body-wise. They're huge. Um, boom, thank you for the super chat as well. And Twiggies, what's going on, man? Going pretty good. Hope you're having a good day as well. Thank you for the super chat. Got the move flying challenge I'm going to get, so what should I go for next in Call of the Wild? Let's see. What would be a good one? What about... I almost said Sitka deer. Those are in classic. I wanted to go with a random deer species, but... Feels like new map stuff's kind of lame. Actually. Reindeer. Since we're chasing them. What's up, Tux? Recovering from being sick, but feeling better. How's the stream going? As far as big males, there's not been anything too special, but we are definitely dropping a lot of reindeer and other stuff, so that's been good. Hope you're 
Feeling better, by the way. It's no good. Vegas Diamond Fallow on the new system? 260... I forget. 267? Pretty sure. I don't know where that guy's coming from. I do know where that guy's coming from. He would have been drinking right uh. on this side. These are tough shots. Reindeer have like a shorter neck. So when they're running straight away, there's not a lot of head or neck to aim at, but as soon as they do that, it's easy. And they are, of course, just everywhere, so that's unfortunate. Um, hmm. Getting the drink zone is good. We gotta go that way. That's the next lake is directly uh, where they're headed. So maybe we can run into them crossing the ice over there. Um, Caitlin, thank you as well. Just got my first diamond. It was a wolf. Nice. I think a wolf's a cool first. Like, any level 9 animal, I think, is a cool first diamond. Ever since Call of the Wild came out, basically, the word legendary always just hits different for me, even if it has nothing to do with the game. If I see it or hear it, my first reaction is that it's a diamond of something. It's odd. What's up, Hunter Class? A map in China with pandas and tigers? I don't think pandas can be hunted anywhere. I don't know if that would be a, a great idea. I uh, got a max score planes bison last night? Nice, man. I feel like that's a cool one. Like, max score really big animals? Cause I, I had one of those on Silver Ridge Peaks, and... I've had max score animals before, but it's one of my favorites, just because it is like such a large species. Is there rare fur types than others, like egg white rare than albino, or the other way around? Egg white is basically just an uncommon, so albino is more rare than egg white. Red brown's more uh, more common than your normal rares. Leucistic is a like an actual rare. Gold for Gemsbuck is an actual rare. Oddly enough, it's not a rare for brown bear, though, so don't confuse the two. Yeah, I mean, Melanistic is still your most rare <laughs> possible thing, as far as I know. But there are other, like, legitimate rare fur types, too. Little chicken, thanks for the super chat. Got back to back diamond moose on Layton. That's really cool. It's been a long time, I feel like, since I've had diamond moose, like, in any close proximity to each other. I'm talking, like, days apart. Back to back's pretty good. You know, oddly enough, bottom boy, I've had the same experience. Two albino wolves now, I'd say easily 10 melanistic. Certain things, the melanistic spawn rate is higher, but kind of generally speaking, melanistic's more rare. I'm trying to think, wolves is definitely one where melanistic is, you, you see it more commonly. What else? There's gotta be others. I think grizzly bear, probably. Fabled piebald is the rarest. No one has ever gotten one. There are quite a number of reindeer tracks here. I wonder if there's a zone on this side. Maybe worth running across and checking. I've had that tent there for quite some time and I never do get reindeer here, but I never saw the tracks either. Might as well. We'll run over there and look back and see. How to fix your dog when tracking buddy basically just goes slow-mo. If you're on console, I think it's kind of just stuck that way until they release a patch. Some people on console have had no issues. I, I can't understand that. But if you're on PC, if you enable the Hunt Club beta, and as long as you're logged in, it will... They did some kind of server-side fix, and it'll work. Like, my dog's level 16 tracking, which is supposed to break them, but he tracks fine. Drilling rifle or muzzleloader? Um, I'd go muzzleloader, honestly. If you're going to limit your range, you might as well just get an absolute cannon. I'm confused. Where are the reindeer that left all those tracks, then? Uh. I haven't a clue. We'll still back up a little further, just in case. Landon, thank you for the super chat, by the way. 
killed two troll, five medium caribou. Yeah, the last uh, last five I shot was the troll as well. It seems like they troll quite a lot lately. They used to be, I felt like, more common diamonds than most of the species on that map, but I sure don't see very many, you know, like, I don't know, since the new scoring system, really, these days, there's not many diamond caribou out there. Getting game crashes along with the slow-mo dog tracking. Yeah, there's definitely some... It's hard to pin down what it is, but there's definitely some new... Uh, game crash causing things since the dog update. I'm not sure how related the dog is specifically, because I, I seemingly got them with or without the dog being active. That's nice for him to just walk out, because I went here earlier uh, trying to clear pressure and didn't get any. Not too bad. Bet you won't kill the next animal with a headshot? Okay, so technically you probably said that before I shot the reindeer, but next reindeer I'll shoot it straight in the brain, just for you. I'll probably forget, but if I can find one quickly, I'll try to do that. How many dogs can I have? I don't know if there's a max. I know they introduced a max for trophy lodges in the most recent update, but I don't know about the dogs. You know, Scarecrow, I've been there for fallow deer quite a few times now. I haven't had an issue. Pro tip, do not track rabbits or hares. It will crash your game. The same can be said for ducks, in fact. I do not know about geese, and I do not know about turkeys. I haven't been willing to test because it's never a fun time to crash your game when you have an animal laying there. But I know ducks and rabbits do it. I'd like... Okay, I don't care for the his right antler, but his left, like these super massive tops, I'd like that as one of our rare reindeer if I could, you know, have the ability to choose. 25 max. Holy... <laughs> Why would you? I don't know. It's fine. Maybe they were just making a max that nobody would ever reach. That just seems insane. And that's probably, you know, they're probably considering adding other breeds in that 25 max staying. I hope they allow you to delete dogs down the road, though, because if somebody makes 25 bloodhounds, I'm not sure what you do after that. I think Didi was using change to find turkeys. What? Chance. Hmm, I think you're right. Maybe that works. They, I mean, you can hit them, and they don't always immediately die like rabbits and ducks, so it's kind of different. And geese, the same can be said for them. That is ridiculous, Scarecrow. I would have been switching maps. Why are all my level 4 reindeers silver? A lot of them are just not big enough to make gold. Which is, I think, where the difficulty in this grind is going to come in. How do you hide your hands when you take a harvest screenshot? I always am standing up and looking up. See, see, my hands just disappear. But if you're crouching, your hands are visible. A max that nobody would ever reach. I take that as a challenge to my abilities. Go for it, man. Hey, mistress. How'd the rest of your stream go, by the way? I was enjoying the little animations of pushing the tree around and spinning it and stuff. I thought that was amazing that there's actually like an animation for it. What has been your favorite hunt on the Hunter Call of the Wild? My favorite entire hunt? Well, as much as it's the obvious answer, it's gotta be the one with the, the great one. Cause it started out, I wasn't even gonna record a video that day. I just happened upon a level 3 whitetail while I was trying to rediscover all my zones again because they were all like shuffled up and not where I'd been finding whitetail for the previous month. I found a level 3 in the process, killed that, and I was like, you know what, we'll just make a video finding the new zones. Did all that, was done recording, hadn't started editing yet. I went to do another run, there was another level 3 whitetail, so I was like, alright, just gonna add it to the same video, whatever. Not gonna try to, you know, make 12 different videos with a single diamond whitetail in it and basically trying to get close to that the great one ran out and it was just all chaos and insanity from that point 
figured out what's causing my audio issue. Good deal. <laughs> Level 5 goats are always small males. Is Chez in here? I see Kyla saying it anyway. Might be off my screen. Tips for trying to get a diamond bear. That's my dream animal. Which bear species are you going for? Because if it doesn't matter to you, I would say black bear and silver ridge peaks. There's a couple of lakes up in Tufons and... Oh gosh, what's the name? It's like the bottom left. There's a tiny lake right by an outpost. There's tons of bears that use those two lakes. And if you just shoot all the males there over and over, you might just get a level 9 to spawn. It's really me. Hey, Chess, How's it going? How's your afternoon going? How many dogs have you went through? I just have the one. Rocky's been my best bud out here. Can you play Hunting Sim 2 sometime? So I talked a little bit earlier about kind of wanting to uh, switch it up with the Throwback Thursdays, and I think Hunting Sim 2 is going to be a part of it. I know I lied about my headshot, but that would have been a really tough headshot. I was hoping we could get one drinking. That would be the way to make a headshot, but being that we're right at the end of their drink time, that's a little tough. Are dogs out on Xbox? They sure are. They're out on all platforms. I was tracking a diamond mountain lion and all of a sudden the tracks are gone? That will happen in both single player and multiplayer. I'd say more often in multiplayer. What it could be is that if you reset the time anytime, you know, say in the last, like, half hour, it will sort of, like, spawn the mountain lion elsewhere, and you might have to figure out where it is now. Or it could just be that there's no visible tracks, and what I would do is just kind of figure out what direction it was heading, and go as far as you can in that direction. Yeah, Kyla? All the alts? Okay, so... We're at the end of reindeer drink time now. We're going to back it up to about, we'll do 512. And in resetting the time, that should save this as the last outpost we visited on Medved. We're going to switch maps just momentarily to hopefully get our response to happen on Medved. And because we reset the time there, this rain is annoying. Because we reset the time there, it shouldn't spawn us at a tent and make it go away. Even though we're holding on to tents anyway, we could fix it. Snake, I thank you again, by the way. If you had to choose between a Southwest Desert map or Africa map, which would you pick? As much as I really want that desert map, I'd pick the Africa one. Because we're coming up on three years of Rohunga, and I still don't get tired of it. So I'd have to go with like another Africa map, because I think it would be the same same kind of thing. So I think what we'll do, probably for most of the next hour, it usually takes quite some time to get across here, but we're going to do the northern ice run. I have a lot of reindeer up here, like a bunch of these drink zones are reindeer ones. So if we go from here all the way across, I'm going to say it's going to take us like 30 minutes, and then we'll go elsewhere for the last little bit. It's because it's slow, Rebecca. Give me my coos deer and javelina, though. I want the man, but for some reason, like any other map, for me, that's not latent. Once I've kind of gotten everything, uh, like as far as like a diamond or the specific rares I'm trying to get, I don't go back to it. And I guess that's maybe why I keep going back to Brahunga. I haven't gotten everything that I want, but I just, I can go back there and enjoy it, regardless of like what I'm getting or what I'm looking for. I think it's interesting, just that specific map pulls me into the degree it does. Story behind your YouTube name, I've told this story quite a lot actually in recent times, so I think <laughs> I'll kind of tell the short version. Basically, uh, I played a lot of Cabela's Dangerous Hunts 2009. I think that was my favorite hunting game around like 2010 when, uh, not long after it came out. The main character in that game was named Flint Abrams. So I played through it like three times, beat it, uh, I finally decided it was time to 
like move on to another hunting game. I knew about the Hunter Classic. Finally went on there and you needed to make a username. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna be the Flint Abrams of the Hunter Classic. Uh, that did not work, somebody had that name. And Flint was also taken, so for whatever reason, 13 year old me added an ER to the end and 10 years later, here we are. Check out the link to see his face or my profile picture. I am in fact in Kyla's profile picture. It's the best. It's true, bottom boy. New vid on Friday on the Meat Hunters channel. Grinding for Muley on SRP. I know a lot of people have had success doing that. The issue I have with grinding for Muley on that map is their drink zone is so short, like 9 to 10. Whereas Park is 9 to 12, you gain an extra 30 minutes real life of time to hunt their zones. It could be that you're having plenty of luck in their feed or rest zones, and if you're doing that on Silver Ridge Peaks, that's fine. I think Silver Ridge does have more mule deer, but I always did it on Parquet. My question is, who took the name Flint Abrams and why? I would certainly assume someone else had the same idea. They played Dangerous Hunts 09 and moved on, and that's who they wanted to sort of be, because if you haven't played the game, Flint Abrams in Cabela's Dangerous Hunts 2009 is quite a cool character. I already said it, Kaven. You tried. Would you prefer Call the Wild or Classic? Which game is your favorite? If... Okay. This is tough to answer, because there's two different ways you can look at that question. If you said, I can only play one of the two for, like, <laughs> forever. I can never play the other one. What that question comes down to for me is, if I choose Call the Wild... Does Call of the Wild continue to get updated, or is it Call of the Wild as is? Because I think, probably I would actually say Classic if I could only choose one and there were no updates. But knowing that Call of the Wild going forward is going to get more maps and more species and more guns and all that at a more rapid pace than Classic, if it's going to keep getting updated, I'd choose Call of the Wild. It's I know that's a weird answer, but that's just the way that I kind of look at that. Uh, Drew, thank you for the super chat, by the way, and I think I missed John Carlos as well. Can you stream on my birthday? I mean, it depends on when your birthday is. If it's a Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or Sunday, then yes. And Drew, uh, loving the stream. When you are done, watch the George Boy official fan mail Friday. What is that? I have no idea what that is. Maybe I'll give that a look. I have not heard of such a thing. Got stuck on the South America part because my small brain, 10 year old self got scared of the leopards. That part where you had to shoot like a tiger or a leopard or something off of some other guy, that was always the, the scary one for me. Who is your girlfriend? It's Kyla, she's in there in the chat saying hey. What's the animal you want most in your lodge, like fur type and species? Could I have a gold male diamond guns book? Because we have so many things, or actually, <laughs> because red fox are such a pain, any diamond red fox, I guess, would be good enough. Hey, Palo. Why did you do this? I did it to myself. Read the description. Medved on purpose? Just trying to change it up. We've done so much, like... You know, either Fallow Deer Grinding or Te Aoroa in general, and then Bloodhounds, and then Yukon and Wolves. Just wanted to switch it up. What's up, Joel? This stream's been good so far. Nothing special has showed up, but it's to be expected when you're doing a grind. It's kind of about the total kills, and surely we're well beyond 20 at this point. Uh, not much beyond 20, though. This was killed at 10 after 3, so maybe 25-ish kills. I have to read and suffer Medved, why do you hate me? It's for your own good. Did you go turkey hunting this season? Uh, PA is quite lame, and our turkey season doesn't even start till May 1st. And I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be here, so... Gonna have to wait till... A couple of days in. 
I would like to know why your maps are so good. I'm curious what you mean by so good. Because if it's just the amount of animals, I think the biggest thing is that I'm always hunting areas where I know a certain species is going to be active. So because we're hunting reindeer, I'm going to areas where I know reindeer drink and we're seeing a lot of reindeer because like, I, I guess I just know where they're going to be. If you're talking about like size of animals or like diamonds, rare stuff like that, it's just because I shoot a ton of stuff that's not in videos. Like, uh, can I see this? I have 63 hours in Call of the Wild the last two weeks. I'm surprised it's that low, actually. Must be slacking. Anyway, so say 30 hours in the last week. There's probably like, counting streams, four hours of streams, and maybe two or three hours of videos. I'd say two. Yeah, definitely two or less. So six hours of the last 30 in a week is actually like content that you guys see. The rest is grinding and shooting stuff and trying to get those big males to spawn. What's up, Billy? Uh, Dfish, thanks for the super chat. Downloaded Discord, joined your group, and want to share pictures and videos, but can't figure out how to do so. Can fuzzle my small brain. I feel it, man. Okay. Depending on what like sort of pictures you're trying to send, there are certain chats for that. So like, there's a a chat under game chats called COTW or Call of the Wild Trophy Shots and Picks. So if you're trying to post something about Call of the Wild. In there, you can upload images and stuff. And, you know, if you're trying to do videos, there's a specific chat for that. I think it's like YouTube, Twitch videos, something like that. There's chats for all the stuff. And yes, Tux, that also is a part of it. The Tanzania part still scares me at 19 in Dangerous on 9. Huh. I don't actually recall specifically what's in that part. We might as well smoke that must here. Not much going on. You know what I haven't done? We figured this out within like 10 minutes of the start of the stream and I still haven't gotten 22 bullets. Yikes. Small brain hours. Uh, trying to get some coyotes for story mode. Do you have any suggestions? I think they are required to be shot in a certain area. Uh. What was that? Well, we had an opportunity to spot something for like half a second, but... Anyway, uh, I would try their drink time. They drink midnight to 3 a.m. If you have to shoot them in a certain location, I'd go to that location and go to the lakes at that time. That might work for you. What's up, Balthazar? Good to see you, man. Got my first time in Mule Deer, double lung <laughs> heart shot at 404 on the trot. You are a mad lad for going for that shot. 322, though. Very nice. I can say I would not have attempted a trotting shot on a level 5 Mule Deer, but well done. Everyone's getting diamond muleys except me. There's been quite a few of them posted around the Discord lately, I must say. Which is a good thing. You know, we spent so long where... Unless you could get those initial level 6 and 7 mule deer that spawned, diamond mule deer just weren't possible, basically. It's good that they're showing up now. Sometimes I remember Billy's real name is a Billy, and I'm not alright with that. None of us are. But yet he's a mod. A mod, yet a fake and a fraud. What a rhyme. Oh my, Palo. <laughs> Can great ones have rare fur types? They can. I don't think any have been shot legitimately, but there's been plenty spawned in by uh, modders and stuff that get posted all over the place that uh, have rare fur types. And there's a specific fur type for the great ones. There's like a fabled piebald that somebody got in the beta period for the great ones, but it wasn't on a great one. It was on like a level two. It was sort of broken. What's the best place to goose hunt on Hirschfeld? And I've got a goose guide. I'd recommend checking that out. I think I showed two or three locations in that guide. His voice is very soothing. Why, thank you. 
I still can't quite hear it myself, but I'm glad it is. My Dangerous Hunts 2009 crashes as soon as I shoot the Alaskan. Uh, there must be another word that's meant to be there, but that's interesting. Maybe you're not supposed to shoot the Alaskan. Why do you hate them, Billy? What have they done to you? Is egg white rare for Grey Wolf? It's just uncommon. It's a cool fur type. I wish it was rare. They look pretty neat. I had a... It was quite... Uh, what's the word? Exciting for the, the track of it. I had a max weight estimate egg white uh, Grey Wolf track, and I really wanted that to be a diamond egg white, but unfortunately it was just a uh, mythical. Oh my goodness, Billy, get a... Get new ones. That does not sound good at all. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little disappointed with the number of reindeer so far. I don't know if we're missing them or if we just haven't gotten to where they are, but I'm glad we shot that must deer. I found the great one, but my game crashed, so I quit. From what I've heard, if you don't kill it when you see it, it ends up like bugging out and becoming like a level four or level five whitetail, so I hope it does not do that. That's because you didn't treat them with love, Billy. You didn't send them to Fallow Heaven. It's because you're not yelling and your voice is not raspy like someone who has smoked for years. Need to get Psycho in here to do his <laughs> smoked for years voice. Excuse me? Where were you guys trying to hide? Now he's alarmed too. Thinking that they could just hide up there, but he couldn't resist. Barking at us. Now he smoked. Think we just had the one male, but let's get to see reindeer. What was I gonna say there though? Oh yeah, the not yelling thing. I just don't care for that in YouTube content. If I get yelled at in an intro, I click away. My name is soothing, but my, my, my that, that, I can't even say it. But my voice sucks. Clearly, I can't even use it. I don't think it happens if you leave them. Well, no. You fallow? Any trophies so far? Nothing super special. We have shot quite a number of reindeer, some must deer, a brown bear. I don't know if we shot anything else, but the whole point is reindeer. We're trying to, long term goal, uh, get a, well, actually get two gold rare reindeer. I hope they're two different fur types, but I just want the fact that they're rare and score gold or higher. The fur type doesn't matter to me too much. <laughs> so whatever, we are 25-ish reindeer harvests in a little over an hour. Pretty pleased with that. Uh, Warren, thank you for the super chat, by the way. Voice equals good, speech equals meh. I always say, when I'm tripping over my own words, it sure is a good thing I don't speak for a living, because that would be a tragedy. You know, I've often wondered if YouTube were to fizzle out and Twitch were to go away, like what I would try to do. People have said that I have a good voice for radio, but don't you have to be able to speak the language that you're, uh, <laughs> that you're casting or, uh, you know, doing your radio show in? Speech is impeccable. Glad she has heard that. I'm glad she did too. The best way to increase your rifle score? Fallow deer on Te Aoroa, probably. I'd say that would be a good one. Is YouTube your full-time job? It sure is. Okay, that guy uh, went to fleeing. Rocky, you're gonna be in my way. We might have been able to get a shot, but he was gonna be standing directly in front of the gun. That would have been no good. At least we found the reindeer. There's a bunch of males in there too. What if we sort of hang around a minute and see if they'll come back? I feel like it's at least worth the time spent. Still says fleeing. He's got to go nervous pretty soon, but we're not going to be able to see him. Just getting far enough away. Oh, hold on. That one stopped. 
So, if one goes back, they all go back. The fact that the three's kind of heading back there is a good thing. And the fact that he's away from his buddies... If we just hit him now... I think we got him in the vertebrae. It was a little high. He sort of dropped down right when we shot. It's going to kill him. But if the other males were far enough away, they didn't hear that. And we're standing at like 2.30 away. I don't think they will have heard that. We might be able to get a second one too. If none show up in the next couple of minutes, we'll just go claim them. But I think that was worth the risk to try to maybe get several. What's up, Lucky? Lucky 33. Are Whitetail the only great ones? Currently, they're the only species that can be a great one, yes. How much time does it take to make one of your vids with all with all diamonds? Like the montages, or... The montage videos take like six hours to make, usually, if that's what you're referring to. A normal video... Start to finish recording, editing, thumbnailing, all that. Probably four or five hours. The small puke lake is good. It has produced some good things. Oh my, Palo. Where do you come across these things? Hey, luck so far, nothing special as far as, uh, you know, scores, but as far as the number of reindeer we've been able to drop, it's been quite good. That was you, Lucky. Ugh. Done talking to you now. <laughs> I have no fallow by the lighthouse, I got a whole bunch on the main river. I have so many on the main river now, it is ridiculous, but my lighthouse run still has quite a good number of them as well. I can't get diamonds, been playing the game for a year and I only got my first one yesterday, and it was a duck. Well, you gotta start somewhere, man. Let's say you're kinda doing something right if you're managing to get a diamond of any species, but it took, for me, I think at the year mark I might have had two. So, I wouldn't even say that's, uh, that out of the ordinary. Non-vital organ hit. I'm curious to see where this shot actually hit him. It must have been the fact that he was, like, dropping down. Jacob, thanks for becoming a channel member, dude. I do appreciate you. I'm sure you know the drill as far as linking everything up over there in Discord, but thank you, man. How's it going? Who's Kyler? That's my girlfriend. The best. What game is this? asked Caleb. This is uh, the Rocket League update. It's called Shoot Your Shot. Don't know why I disconnected my membership. I thought you became one recently, but I couldn't remember. Okay, that kind of makes sense. So he was... It's hard to make them lean. He was kind of leaning downwards. I can't pull him the way I need to pull him, but... Makes sense. Good boy. I keep trying to lose weight, but it keeps finding me. I feel it. Cardio. It's the way to do it. Can you play Hunting Sim 2 sometime? I'm going to go back to it at some point here. Didn't know Rockley had an update. You got to you gotta watch for these things, dude. I have five diamonds, and I've been playing for three months and at level 45. Not too bad, man. Not bad at all. I wonder, did these spook out onto the ice, or there's a drink zone there? We probably... Oh, yeah, they did. Where's the mail? Ooh. All right. It's not the mail. That is. I thought, for some reason, in my head, that was going to be the mail. Kind of got my own hopes up for no reason. Will they stop? That is the question. We'll probably try to get her, even though... Oh, she's alert. Even though that's not the rares we're looking for, really. Bodyguard. And they're trying to trot around. I don't appreciate it. Where's the mail? We hit him. I don't know if we hit him very well. I'd say definitely not. Can we get another shot at him? Let's see if he stops. They do a decent amount of that. I don't know, like, when they started it. 
Yeah, he's just trotting off. And anyway, we'll go see what that is. My knees are too bad for cardio. You're gonna have to find some other method. What's the best way to get the 300? I assume you're asking... Why did that look... Almost look like another rare. Oh, he's come back. Hold on. Let's uh, focus and make a better shot this time if he slows down. He is one speedy trotting boy right now over there. I don't appreciate it. I'm trying to make it tough to let me shoot him. think that'll get him. Even if it didn't hit the lungs like I wanted, two shots will be high. <laughs> two shots will be enough to bring him down. Anyway, I assume you're asking about the cash part of the 300 because you can get the 300 unlocked uh, just by buying the Econ Valley DLC. So I'm guessing that's uh, where that question's coming from. No more Rocket League. Got a diamond, ibex, mountain lion, turkey, rocky mountain elk, and mallard. Not too bad. Good little variety uh. there. Um, Adam, thank you for the super chat. Just bought the Savannah DLC. Tips on that one. Uh, really, it's like any other map. You just, uh, if you hunt near the water, you're going to find a lot of animals. And I would say, um, probably start at like 5 or 6 a.m. You're going to see Kem's Buck and Warthog out drinking quite a lot. If you continue towards about 8, okay, Buffalo start to drink. Past that, around 12, you got Lions drinking. And then after that, at 1500, you'll get Spring Buck. Kudu and Wildebeest drink at night, unfortunately, which is quite a, quite a unfortunate because they're two of the cooler species. Nice little Lucy Reindeer, but we've had our fair share of those, so no point taxing. Rocky being a little creep like Atlas. I Yeah, I wasn't prepared for that level of creepiness, to be honest. Hi. I think they were all females, right? Pretty sure. Shooting those is not going to get the rare males to spawn, so don't need it. Yeah, that was a flesh hit, apparently. And it must not have been spine, so I'm not too sure. What do you do if you spot your dog and it's a level 9 legendary with max score estimates? <laughs> I was going to say close your eyes and pull the trigger, but <laughs> never mind. That's terrible. Anyway, uh, JB, thanks for becoming a channel member. Appreciate you, man. Welcome. If you're not in the Discord already, make sure you join that. Link up your YouTube. Get the member role. Get all the good stuff that comes along with that. Thank you, man. And Peyton, thank you for the super chat. It's very much appreciated. You're my favorite YouTuber. Well, thank you. Uh, best guns to use. If you want a general loadout that's going to work well on every map, I would say 300, M1, 243, 22. And you literally never have to change. <laughs> I almost wanted to believe for half a second that was a piebald. Better not have been, because <laughs> we hit it in the vertebrae. We'll see. Piebald must deer are quite bright, so there's no way it actually was. Just wishful thinking. All the female reindeer are suffering around. Uh, Nolan, thank you as well. Can't get diamonds, been playing for six months. My general advice for anyone asking, like, you know, how to get more diamonds or anything like that is to... Hunt around water. If you're doing it in single player, shoot every male animal you see. Eventually, if you keep doing that, the stars will align and you'll get a diamond spawn on your map somewhere. I saw that bear earlier and wanted to shoot it, but we had reindeer strugs. Is it a melanistic? I think it's just a light brown. Pretty sure. I know, Ryan. That was bad. Are you going to make any IRL turkey hunting videos? We'll see what happens. So I tried to last year. I brought my camera on every hunt I went on. The issue was I didn't see a single turkey and there's not a whole lot to make a video on. It's At that point, it's just me introducing a hunt over and over and over and then not seeing anything. So if we actually see any this year. 
I definitely intend to. What was that? Is there something right back here? There is. Uh. Can you guys hear that sound? That sounds new. A little bit uh, interesting to hear that. I don't even know where this musty is. We'll send Rocky on it. H Dog, thank you for the super chat, by the way. Appreciate you, man. Strugs, yes. Excited for ultimate hunting? I definitely want to see, you know, what it's got in store. Looking forward to it. Uh, we did yawn. We got a leucistic reindeer just a couple minutes ago. It was a female, so not quite what we're after, but still. Ooh. Still decent. Uh, Max weight must your track. If only we were still doing our must your grind, I would be all over that, but maybe we'll get to spot it without chasing it. They are quite annoying to try to track down. They run just quick enough, and Medved is just thick enough that it's really tough to spot them running ahead of you. Uh, no one, thank you again. I've only gotten a Mallard Diamond, nothing else. Well, at least you've gotten something. I'd say you're uh, on the right track if you manage to do that, but like I said, just try... Hunting, like, hunting around water and hunting around lakes that you haven't hunted before. That's probably the one. And it's technically got a chance, but I'm going to guess it's too small. Do you think they'll ever have upland hunting besides turkeys? I'd say at some point it's quite likely that happens. I guess I'm doing pretty good for myself because I have 18 diamonds with the diamond whitetail and grizzly. Yeah, man. Not bad at all. Let's see what that ends up as. I don't even know what I missed. Clearly something. Possible big male? Might just be, you never know. Right up here is often where I ended my mustier runs, and very frequently, this last little bit Right over here is just loaded with reindeer, so I'm hoping we can smoke a couple from that area. Ooh, there you go, Billy. Hey, all the above. I'll die laughing if you get a diamond level 2 after all your grinding to get a 3. I just shot one earlier level 2 that had a chance, and he was nowhere close, so I am not getting my hopes up for this one, but it is in the exact same place as the level 3. And much like the one earlier, it's the absolute minimum score estimate, essentially. Hard shot, though. Can't complain about that. High level 4 against Buck. Females can make diamond at level 4. Males usually don't make diamond at level 5, but uh, a level 5 male has a chance anyway. That is the max level. Peter, it's usually around noon on Sundays. It kind of depends on the Sunday. You know what? Well... Subnautica Sundays are kind of kind of be over. I'm not sure what we're going to do come football season because I usually got to be at my parents watching a football game by one. So we may need the stream a little earlier if we continue Sunday streams, which I kind of would like to. I quite enjoy those. Goat luck on New Zealand. It's the way it goes. Nothing you can do about it. Must deer. Must deer. Reindeer. Okay. These last two zones should have ranger in them. Schedule wasn't updated on YouTube? Huh. I feel like we talked about doing it, and I said that we were going to wait and see if the Subnautica Sunday stream is caught on. The issue is there's like a limited like amount of text you can send in one message. I feel like I tried to update it, and it was, the text was too long. Hmm. Yeah, I should probably do that. Sunday farming sim streams? You know what? Not gonna roll that out. Not gonna roll that out at all. <laughs> Might not be a bad idea. H Talk, thank you again. Love your videos. Uh, and have you gotten anything good? Just a little leucistic female reindeer today. And Rake, am I saying that right? Hopefully. Got a nine legendary red deer and can't find it. Okay, so when you say you got one, does that mean you saw one or you shot one? Because 
my advice for what to do differs greatly based on, you know, what that means. Three males in there. I'm almost tempted, because of where they are, to try to call them out. But the thing is, in doing that, you bring them so close that they spook quicker when you take your shot. Let's just try this. We're almost 300 meters out. They spook a little slower when you shoot them at a distance. So maybe, if we're good at the game, we can get to because they're far away. We'll try it. Ooh, did we... Did the last one get out of there in time or did we hit him? Oh no, we dropped him. I think we got all three. Not too bad. Thought it'd be an easy stream with little to no planning. Yeah, and it's something that's been asked, you know, for us to bring back, because we used to do it. If I can find, like, a good mod map that's different, because I need something different, we could uh. definitely do that. And again, I, I've, I've talked about this before. There's a YouTube channel that does it, so I don't want to steal the idea. But somebody does, like, farming and hunting video hybrids. So they, like, farm in the middle of the day and then do, like, a morning and evening hunt. I love that idea. It's such a cool thing, but I don't want to steal it from him. Um, credit what's going on, man. Thanks for the super chat. We have the same PC. We have the same PC. We saw from the setup tour. What did you set OBS settings to for Call of the Wild? My streams have a lot of frame drops. If you're having frame drops, that's usually an internet thing. But I would try messing with your bitrate a little bit and... One thing that did cause some frame issues for me was not having V-Sync on. When I turned on V-Sync in Call of the Wild, so that would be uh, somewhere. Where is that? Display? Yes. That caps the frame rate at 60, and it basically keeps the PC from, you know, displaying all those extra frames that are not necessary. So I may, you know, give that a shot, but usually drop frames are a connection thing. Is there more blood? Can you find one more? I think so. Oh yeah. Got that one too. We down for toast? Wait, what? Toast? I like toast. We stream Sundays at 12 until football and then maybe sooner? Yeah, I, we'll keep it as it is until football season comes around. Uh, and then... It's gonna have to be earlier. That's the only way that we could continue that. And I'd like to continue it, so hopefully that's what we'll end up doing. Let's get out of here on the ice, see if we can spot the ones in this zone. They are not in as good an area if we can even see them. It's just sort of like up in the brush. We'll just sort of run at it and see if we get a warning call. Oh, we sure did. It almost feels like that should be visible, though. I see nothing. Well, if it was a warning call, let's, um... Excuse me? That's not the right caller. Where... What am I doing? Help. The one that I didn't equip, naturally. A giveaway of a piece of toast where you've taken a single bite out of it. Okay, I had toast for breakfast, so I guess I could live with just one bite. Oh, seen him there. Uh. He's decent. I like that uh, rack, actually. Hold up. Maybe we should wait. I guess it is a whole herd. We'll see. Uh, David, thanks for the super chat. Can you wish Emma luck on getting her first time? And I sure can. Uh, not sure if we have one in our sights if we're just looking, but best of luck, Emma. Sounds good, Scarecrow. Now that you're leaving, you'll get a diamond mill must you? I'd prefer a piebald or albino if I could be uh, choosy, but I'm quite aware must you don't love me enough to let me choose. This is what I was talking about in that last zone. When animals are close to you, they don't stay in their alert for <laughs> as long, and it's tough to get those follow-up shots. If we choose the far right one 
first. I don't even know. This is going to be tough. We got to get the closest guy. And then that's going to get him. Where's your other male? That guy's going to have a bad day, but it's fine. JB wants that toast. Thank you for the super chat. Bidding on the toast. And Tony, thank you as well. My toes for breakfast. Leave my toes alone. They don't deserve this. Do the oi? What, to make them stop? They don't listen to me anymore. Look at the hunting pressure. We didn't delete a single zone. I'm proud of that. Not too bad. Thanks for reading my comment and answering my question. My pleasure, man. No worries. A year ago, I was a Caldwell prophet. I predicted G-Man's albino diamond water buffalo and Zaggy's rare puma on stream. Do you mean the Melanistic when he was chasing a Melanistic Puma for 12 years? Sounds good, Jordan. Best way to hunt geese? I've got a goose guide uh, on the channel that I'd probably recommend checking out because I go over a lot of like locations and sort of tactic and stuff in that video. Maybe that could help you out. They don't take me seriously anymore, Paolo. My oi is not resounding enough. What the? Okay. Toes Malone. I almost even said that. I almost said leave my toes Malone, but I would have been stealing a joke from a guy in Rocket League, and that's just not fair. Oh. Are piebald axes deer rare in Call of the Wild? Unfortunately not. They are far too common. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, yes, JB. It's all yours. What's up, uh, diggity boy? Um, Noodle, thanks for the super chat in RHY. I must have missed you there while I was shooting reindeer. Thank you as well. I don't really watch college. Um, I've pretty much only watched NFL. It's just kind of been my preference. Let's see if we can get anything else in the south, and then we'll probably go for a different run for the very end, if we even need to. And I got a thousand scoring line yesterday. I'm guessing you're probably talking about session score, right? If that is the case, it should have been a diamond then. In fact, a diamond that you made a good shot on. Because that's the only way to get a thousand. What's the best gun to use for whitetail? That's a odd looking reindeer. I'd, I'd have to go with the M1. Uh, the 303 is quite good, but if you want to be able to drop a lot of whitetail quickly, the M1's the way to go. Those pops, though? Wait, what? What pops? Oh, that's awesome, Eli. I'm glad to know that. Another male must do. We made all sorts of hunting pressure down here, and I'm impressed that we've cleared as much as we have. But we used the tripod this time to limit such things. I also promised a headshot earlier. I think we may have the opportunity to get one in here, but it's going to be tough. Just to be able to even see. Did we get it? I think we hit the wrong one. One of them flinched. This was not the headshot I was trying to get. It's quite alright. That'll take care of him eventually. Did that big one... Oh, I didn't think he'd be able to hear that. I'd account for him first if I knew he'd spook, but he's already nervous. I expect him to turn a little bit broadside anyway. Unless he's just going to leave us, which would be kind of sad considering every other reindeer for the most part is broadside, but he's just leaving. Well, sorry to do this, but it's the way it goes. Ooh. He got out of there quick. I bet we got intestines, so it'll bring him down, but that was not the way this lake was meant to go.
just bought Microsoft Flight Simulator, an Airbus A320 side stick and thrust levers. Can't wait to use it. Just have to be patient and wait for it to come. That sounds like it'd be a lot of fun. Let me know how that goes. I did not know that all the above. Right into buildings, yes, that's the way. Strugs, yeah, that was not the best. What's the highest diamond you've ever got? I've had a lot of like max score ones and stuff, so it it's sort of hard to answer that question, but I guess... What's the highest max score I've had? Mm. Gemsbuck at 358? Trophy rating, I guess? Never had a max score of reindeer. Or caribou. So I think if I have to choose a max score one to officially be like as big as they can get, that's probably it. Is there purple stuff on the map hunting pressure? Yeah. Oh. That's not the right one. So that's what I hit instead of the headshot. I probably should have looked to see where we hit it, but it's alright. Missed up a big gold piebald meal yesterday. It does happen. Wouldn't be much fun if it was, you know, never a, a possibility. <laughs> the game's more fun when things can be messed up and when things can kind of go wrong. Uh, saw the nine legendary. Sorry, I, uh, if you were saying that in chat, I missed it. Okay. If you're just answering my question from, like, way earlier, I get apologies for me being slow, but I would go back to the same general area, make the time red deer drink time, so anywhere between 5 and 9 a.m., and check, like, all the lakes around there. He's got to drink somewhere fairly close to there. My YouTube channel doesn't exist. Does not. How much time's left? About 15 minutes. Still got time to smoke quite a few more reindeer. We're pretty much good too. It's a little after 8 in game, so... We'll be relying on a few late drink zone reindeer, potentially. But, shouldn't be too bad. What are your top three favorite things to watch on YouTube besides Call of the Wild? I don't know that I have like a specific thing. Like I watch a decent amount of, if you guys know what PFT is, Pro Football Talk, uh, it's like Mike Florio and Chris Sims have a show that I watch a lot of on YouTube. What else do I even watch there that's not Call of the Wild? I don't feel like anything is, it's just all random stuff that ends up in my suggested. It's usually like football and news stuff, to be honest, it's kind of lame. Yes, Billy, because you're allowed here. Alright. Wind kicking in, that's fine. Got my first two diamonds yesterday, nice man. Congrats. Can you tell me your Discord so... Or wait, tell me your Discord or if you have a descriptive someone to talk to. Wait, what? I'm missing something, but my Discord link is in the description or I'm sure someone can post it in the chat. What map do you suggest for diamond grinding? It depends on what diamonds you want, but... Uh, Teawara was a good one with the Fallow Deer. And the Seeker Deer, if they're respawning. I, I kind of think the respawns are broken right now, but I'm not certain of that. I'd say Parquet is quite a good one. Silver Peaks is a good one, and Vrahanga always has been. Are you planning on going turkey hunting this year? I sure am. Are you active in your Discord server? I'm not as active as I'd like to be. But, a lot of times I'm kind of just lurking in there, answering stuff that I see asked that doesn't get answered. 
Yeah, anytime Billy's in there flaunting a big male, I just make fun of his 12 super rare banting. Which animal should I try to get a diamond for next? What about... Lynx. How about that one? Oh my hot techity boy. You've officially admitted that you're gonna do it, so now everyone knows. Is a diamond less common as a new player, or am I not looking at the right spot? It's equally likely that you get one as a new player as it is later on. The difference is, like, the more experience you get with the game, number one, the more you kind of know what you're looking for. But also, you start to get better weapons, you start to have certain skills and perks that make it easier. Like, for one, one major thing, in my opinion, is in your skills in Stalker, Soft feet. If you read that, it reduces the noise generated when moving through foliage and then larger vegetation. Or foliage. I always say foliage. It's a dumb thing from as a kid. Anyway. Um, once you have those things, you're spooking animals less. Most animals spook from noise, from hearing you. That's a, a really big one in my mind where things start to turn because naturally, the diamonds, the, the biggest animals, they are the most, uh, like, aware of their surroundings, I guess, is the way that I would say it. Like, they're most likely to notice you. So if you have skills that make your player less noticeable, it helps. Huh. That's better. Two lakes in a row that went absolutely opposite of what I wanted. I didn't realize the reindeer that we're shooting at now are close enough to hear those first shots. So now we're making up for these drugs. I also really wish I had the M1 there, because that follow-up was going <laughs> to kill him immediately, which is something that I'm quite used to being able to do. Anyway, we may be tracking for the remainder of the stream at this point. Trying to find what Bottom Boy said. Oh, nice! Good stuff, man. Glad to hear it. Oh, wrong button. No. The wheel sometimes does not do what it's supposed to do. Are diamond jackal rare? They're fairly rare. I'm surprised, like, on the new system, I think I've had three or four. And I don't hunt them. I've just randomly spotted level nines. If only I could do that with Red Fox. Longest vital organ shot is. If I got the right thing, 434 meters. I really can't even remember when I did that, but apparently I did. Is the 270 able to shoot moose and elk? It is, but um, they're gonna run pretty far, so just be prepared for a track. Any diamonds yet? None today so far. Just a, a lot of good sized ones, which a lot of times apparently are only silvers. I want to know where we hit this one, because we dropped this one in its tracks. And I think we probably... Yeah, we got all three that we shot at. What was this random shot? Right in the neck. Definitely unintended, but we take those. I think there's a reason I know how to play this game. Well, I'm glad to have been of assistance. Rocky's back there just slacking. We got this. He's going to bark at us, too. Because we're getting too far away. We'll fix it. Link strength time, 19 to 2300. Unfortunately, they drink at night, which is the case for pretty much all predator species, and a lot of the predator species are so small, it makes them tough to see at night, but I guess that's why they max at level 9, because they are meant to be a really high difficulty species. There is yet another male reindeer track there, but I think we've caused enough damage in this area to just move on to the next. Did I just... Huh. We took the tent down there, but never set up the other one. How many of you guys noticed that, like, an hour and a half ago? 
I'm curious. I'm only now remembering that was a thing. Should not Medved more often? It's really an underappreciated map. Yeah, I mean, I... As long as I have something to do, like the reindeer grind, or musk deer, or brown bear, like, we, we've done grinds for all those species now. I enjoy it. It's just that, for some reason, if I go there... Not with, like, a, a grind or anything as my main goal, I just get bored too quickly. What kind of zone is this? Eh, random bear zone. Is a dilute mule deer rare? It is not. Is a mixed feral goat rare? I think technically that's a rare. Caps bad today. No need for caps. Just cluttering up the chat and stuff. It's no good. Well, that's a sad sight. Not a single reindeer at this lake. This is a lake that often has a lot of reindeer. Well, okay. That's unfortunate. We did shoot a couple here earlier, but still. Kind of sad to see. Okay. I guess for the remainder of the stream, actually, why don't we... Yeah. Better go to lakes that are a little closer to lodges, because otherwise we're just not going to kill anything. We'll be lucky if we even get much of anything with the time we have left now, but we'll see. Is a winter wolf rare? I've always said they are. Uh, other people have had a lot better luck with them than I have. I think I've now killed like three, but it took me forever to get one. You've had a bunch of mixed goats? I think I've had two or three. The thing is, when you're looking at a species that travels in herds of like 20, Seeing a lot of a certain rare, or a certain fur type, it's hard to determine whether or not they really are rare. Because there's so many in one place, if you're just in the right areas where those animals frequent, you are going to see just a bunch of them and you're more likely to see, you know, a rare or an uncommon or whatever. Clutch time, Kyla, let's let's do something here. We'll, we'll get something good off of Medved, surely. Other than a small cystic, anyway. Can you do a mountain goat guide? I think I could do a mountain goat guide quite quickly, in fact. Maybe that'll be a thing. It actually, surprisingly enough, takes longer to make a guide video than a normal video. So, maybe another day that I have a bit more time, because coming up here in a bit, I'm going to be prepping all sorts of videos. There's a piglet down there. I even saw him for a second. I couldn't spot him. Nope. Small male. Yes, Palo, definitely. So I can nap, maybe? You should attempt to nap. i to head out to the movies for Kong vs. Zilla. So ready for that large popcorn and cookie dough bites? That sounds like an enjoyable time. But yeah, anyway, if you're uh, on your way out, appreciate you hanging out. We'll see you, man, Discord and other places around, I'm sure. Do you think you're going to do another great one grind? At some point here I am. There's just other stuff that, you know, once we have one great one, there's other stuff that I want to get in the lodge, I guess, as a higher priority. Especially when, like, I've got this goal of having a diamond of every species in the lodge and we still don't have a diamond red fox in there. Like, I really want to get that one out of the way. Too much coffee? Oh, well. That was a part of the day. Five minute clutch. We're in that part of the stream now. Where sometimes it happens. Did he s Okay. He sort of slowed down. I was curious if he stopped and caught that shot like through the brisket. But we're all good. I just watched your great one video. That one just recently got to a million views actually. It was pretty cool to see that happen. 
Oh look, a diamond tree. Hey, Simon. Can you take apart multi mount to get the animals back? You sure can. If you go into your trophy manager and scroll down to the multi mount, you can click on it and hit dismantle. How do you switch maps on PS4 without losing all your progress? If you open the map with like the pause button, at the bottom it'll say toggle reserve selection. I think it's square, probably. And then you can switch maps. How do you get skill points when you level up? Until around level 36, every every single level is either a skill or a perk point. In that area of like level 36, it starts to be every other level. Are black bucks spawning correctly? As far as I know, they are. I'm confused. Did we just claim the second reindeer that we shot, or like what happened? I think so. I'm not sure. I beat you on that one, Palo. It's difficult with the delay to uh, know what's being answered and what's not. I feel it. Where can we go quickly that may have reindeer? Jeez, uh, I don't know. Let's just go here. See if we can smoke one. Oh, nice, Simon. That's cool. Strugs. Is the scoring system fixed yet? As far as I know, there's no issues with it currently. Where are you at, Mr. Reindeer? Hiding. It's kind of rude. Oh, he's not too bad. I think he's coming our way. Oh, no, he's not. Leaving us. Still don't have the 22 to do the 22 strat. And now he's going directly away. Yeah, I think we got him pretty good. You mentioned redoing your perks earlier. I set mine with no experience when I started playing and haven't touched them since. May need to revisit. Yeah, I'd recommend giving them a look. There may be some that you're missing out on that are quite helpful. Tell you what, something about the 303, I'm not very good at hard shots with it. I feel like I'd be a lot better with the M1, but could just be the distance that we're shooting and stuff as well. Rude reindeer, just leaving us. Quite rude. What, Palo? Was that. Was that directed at me? Probably was. What is the 22 strat? So when an animal is calm, not fleeing, or nervous, basically as long as it doesn't say fleeing, they can be nervous, they can be calm, whatever. If the shot angle that you have on it is not good, you can shoot near it with a 22. Don't hit it, obviously. And that'll alert them. When animals are alert, they almost always stop and turn. So if they're facing straight away from you and you do that, a lot of times they turn broadside. If they're already sort of like quartering away, they might turn and quarter towards you. But it's just a way to get a better shot angle. Been live for 20 plus years. Yes. Been alive for 23 years. It's been great. One last reindeer. And then we'll call it a day. Let's take a look at our total harvest again for the stream. Except we're kind of stuck. Oh yeah. We must have gotten in the area of 30 to 40 reindeer, because if since 20 after 4, in the last 40 minutes basically, we've killed 20 animals, I gotta think we're close to 40 reindeer, so not too bad. Sounds good, Simon. Hope you have a good evening. I know it's kind of late over there. So we'll hopefully uh, catch you in a future stream since we're wrapping up, and since I'm sure you're getting close to bedtime. I'm an old man. I feel it some days. That's for certain. Just saw three mythical mountain lions on one lake. Yeah, it's odd that happens more frequently than you would expect. There's just a lot of high-level mountain lions. Mythical, you, you would expect it to be more rare, but mountain lions 
for some reason most are mythical I'd almost say. I guess most are sevens, but mythicals are pretty common too. This is an odd rack, I would say. Bit of a... Well, maybe it was the way he was laying. Because I've seen this, like, uh, combo before with these two antlers. Made it look like one was looping out around, but... Anyway, like I said, we got a good number. Clutch kills anyway. Ending on a high note. That's what we try to do. Always trying to end on a high note, but... Speaking of ending, it is officially 5 p.m., so I do think it's time that we wrap up the stream. Better make sure these aren't level 5 reindeer before doing so. Small males, we'll worry about them in a future stream. But yeah, as always, guys, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for the support, and I will see you hopefully in tomorrow's video. Bye!